Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM. It's a combo kit in 130 second scale, it copies CR42 LW with German pilots and you can see it on the box art so it might be a nice diorama project in a large scale and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review we will open it together with you and check what is actually supplied in this box so first of all box size is typical for this brand here you can see comparison with my hand we have quite nice box art and just like as we discussed yesterday with you I really wish that all these box arts were available at least as a limited edition posters. Here we also have some information about the kit so there are 196 plus 29 parts and I guess it's not difficult to understand which goes for figures and which one is for aircraft and aircraft should have a wingspan of 303 millimeters so it's not that big for 130 second scale and on the opposite side we have the same markings as on the box art so we will check them a bit later and just like any previous release from recent month this one comes sealed with a sticky tape so just give me a second to open it and we will check what is actually supplied here and why this set is an interesting candidate for diorama project well, of course, these figures might be even handy in order to enhance appearance of your aircraft. You don't have to build some sophisticated base. Still, uh, ICM makes some really nice figures out of plastic. I would say there are few rivals on the market, so that's why it is interesting to see how they look like with this aircraft. Okay, everything is open and we flip over this box so it's a top opening box we have first this thin flexible top lid and then we have sturdy cardboard box which should protect everything inside and now let's open it just give me a sec so here it is we have all sprues packed into the same plastic bag so we'll open them in a second and check everything closer in the meantime, let me also remind you that you can support us financially. We have a special donate button on our website. You can also do it via Super Chat and also via YouTube membership. And YouTube membership gives you certain benefits such as, for example, free kit every month. And in my opinion, it's really cool because you will be able to choose which one you would like to have this or that month. And you will be also helping us to get new kits and new photo and video equipment. Okay, so first of all we are going to start with this clear plastic sprue. It's packed into a separate plastic bag in order to avoid any accidental damage such as scratches on this part. Let's zoom in. And now you can see that molding quality looks really nice. And I hope that just like any recent ICM kit, this one features mask template so that it will be easy to cut um, your own masks and cover these clear parts and therefore you won't have to spend your money or time. Next we have first gray plastic sprue. So this one is dedicated to Fuselage House. So let's zoom out a bit. Maybe open camera a bit. And now you should be able to see that here we have two Fuselage House which are molded without cooling section. But they are molded together with tail fin. External features are pretty much standard. So if we zoom in here you can see that we have recessed panel lines and rivets. We also have nice fabric surface in the tail area. And of course each wheel should be glued out of two holes. So maybe if you have a chance to get some aftermarket upgrade I would rather install it here. Because it will help you get a more impressive result. So now we can move to the next plastic sprue. Let's move this one aside. By the way, in the cockpit there is uh, some minor features and it will be detailed or improved with some additional parts. Next we go on with a bit bigger plastic sprue. So here we have large wing halves and maybe we can zoom out a bit. So now you can see that there are also cooling panels here and there. We also have the lower, or actually that's the top panel as far as I remember. We also have cockpit floor, elevators and some parts for tail wings and of course some bulkheads for the fuselage. Everything looks really nice. We have nice fabric surface imitation here. And if we flip it over inside 
you can notice some guiding elements which will help you with proper alignment of these parts together but as for the molding quality as I said there are no issues whatsoever so it's just a matter of careful assembly and you'll be good to go next we have two identical plastic frames so here they are I will show you only one because they carry the same set of parts so there is no use to show the same thing again and again let's zoom in now you can see that here we have landing gear legs also we have some flame uh, parts for exhausts also we have bombs and that's pretty much all so basically all pair elements are given here that's why they're provided on two plastic sprues next we have one more thing here so this sprue is a bit bigger because here we have a mix of various parts for example one piece propeller we also get some parts for the cockpit here for example you can see also some minor elements for the engine landing gear legs and again these parts might be tiny but they look really nice so we can zoom in and now you can see for example this pre-molded features on this control element next we continue with some parts for landing gear as I said before here we have another thing and of course one piece propeller which should be easy to install on your model because it comes as a single piece element let's zoom out and now we move to the last grey plastic sprue so this one is dedicated to large let's zoom out a bit more so here we have tail wings from what I can understand actually these are lower wings and next we have also some cooling parts and of course the engine engine is really detailed here so I would recommend to spend some time painting and weathering it because in 130 second scale it will be noticeable and if I zoom in here you can see that it looks really nice and not that many brands actually give such features out of the box they usually give you some let's say half detailed engine even in 130 second scale so that's why it's cool to see it here in a full scale next we go on with another plastic bag so figure parts are packed into the separate bag and it hints that they were also available as a separate kit so just give me a second to open it and here they are so 130 second scale figures and I would say parts division is somewhat similar to what we are used to seeing 135 scale figures so that's why we can zoom in even more and now you can see that here for example we have one piece torso all these pre-molded features look really nice for all three figures and here you can see legs, hands, some items which will be placed on the figures for example pistol in the hostel holster and all these external features look really cool but inside there are no guiding elements whatsoever so be careful while joining all this stuff together because it will be a bit tricky uh, for beginners and of course all these parts will require careful painting in order to bring out all these features next I'm opening uh, assembly manual because here we have a decal sheet so let's move this aside and here is the decal sheet so this one comes in a quite small size for 130 second scale kit we have some dials for the instrument panel but that's pretty much all for the cockpit I still wonder why they do not provide uh, seat belts because here for example we have some space so it would be easy to place at least some seat belts simple looking seat belts uh, which can be applied on your model but printing quality is really nice so I think it will be easy to apply these decals on your model and next we have a small add that ICM is ready to replace your spruce, your broken spruce and next we have also the assembly manual of course so let's zoom out a bit more close the camera Okay, now you can see that it is a color printed brochure. We have short history note on the first page, some technical specifications, paint chart, and also some safety advices together with address of the manufacturer in case you would like to visit them. And next, so note only a few parts will be used, and we have them marked in the red. Here we also have assembly manual for figures. So 
here on the first page it's a ports map and then there is a marking guide which is combined together with assembly manual so it will be easy to understand what you have to do and next we flip over the page here we start assembly of the cockpit so it will be quite an easy thing because as you can see it's a matter of combining several parts together then we have a cockpit sub assembly which goes into the fuselage and note that fuselage you install this sub-assembly into the left half, then you detail the right half and then you join them together. Next you continue with the top section of the fuselage. As you can see there are some separate panels which should be installed inside for the pilot. Here we have some parts for um, elevators and of course for the rudder. We should be glued out of two parts. Next we continue with more tail parts and also engine gets assembled here so you can notice that whole page is given to the engine and it's really cool you can see that the assembly continues on the next page you have two assembly options with opened or closed actually it's on the opposite so opened or closed cooling flaps which is also quite a nice thing to have and of course next you continue with installation of the cooling panels one by one then you install whole sub-assembly on the fuselage here we continue with lower wings and install wing struts. Then we continue with the top wing. Here we have separate ailerons as you remember and next we install all this stuff onto these struts. So here you can see a propeller assembly, then we have a main landing gear assembly which is provided into two in two variants. So it will depend again on the marking option you choose, so pay attention to this. And here we have a special variant of the exhaust for the first marking option. And next we continue with special attachment for the bombs under wings. It's only for the first marking option. And next also here we have masks template. So basically all clear parts will be covered with masks. That's the first marking option for this aircraft. And next we have another one in a green color with a red propeller hub. So as I said this kit should be already available. You can get it in any good model shop, for example in Modelimax. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!